hello and welcome back to another video so today we're going to be doing Kari's six month update I cannot believe that he is six months y'all like the time has went by so fast so Kari say hey to the people say hey to the people today in this six month updates video I'm gonna let you all know what's all been going on with him um I did make some notes in my phone so I don't forget um so he turned six months on March the 20th um so he's about six and a half months I mean at, at this point but um some of his favorite things so far that he's just been absolutely loving and that um I would also highly recommend to y'all are the itsy ritzy products he really loves the itsy ritzy mitt and the itsy ritzy fox teether um I'll leave a little picture of them right here in this little section right here um I'll leave a picture of all of the products that I'm talking about right here and then I'll link them down below for you all um another thing that he really likes is the Fisher Price gaming controller like y'all he loves this because his dad plays the PlayStation 4 so um he was really into his controller and how it makes lights and vibrates and all that stuff so I went and I found him his own so he can use it while his dad's also playing video games um so another thing that he really likes is the Fisher Price rocking chair um it does rock but it also can be a sedentary um chair it has some cute little um animals and stuff that he can hit and pull on and they do make music so he really does like those but um last night was his first night sleeping all the way through the night you all I am so happy like y'all it's been a long six months i'm not gonna lie to you like if you are a mama out there and your baby is six months and you're like dang when you gonna start sleeping to the light because sis i'm tired all right y'all we're back okay um sometimes you know it's rough anyway um back to some of his current favorites so he has also been liking the Fisher Price Bouncer. Um, I don't know if it's still available, but I'll try and find it. If not, I'll try and find something similar. We did buy this one used. As far as like bouncers and activity chairs and all those kind of things, I really highly suggest that you try and find them used or go to like one of your local um, baby stores that are like consignment shops. We have something here called um, Once Upon a Child. So once upon a child, they sell a lot of baby clothes and baby products and baby toys, Melissa and Doug. Like literally they sell a lot of different stuff like that. Um, and you can get it at a discounted price, which I think is very beneficial. A, for mamas on a budget, but B, if you are a um, mom or parent in general, because they grow out of stuff so fast. Like he grows out of clothes so quickly he likes something and then he doesn't like it and then you spent a hundred dollars on it and he doesn't even want to sit in it for more than five to ten minutes so you know um that way you can get something you can still try it out if it doesn't work you can return it um and you don't have to pay as much money for it you may be able to get two things to try instead of just one he loves his bouncer um at first when we first bought it he wasn't a fan i'm not gonna lie to you um he was not feeling it like he would not sit in there more than three minutes before before he started crying like what but now um he really likes it he still hasn't bounced in it yet but it does have a lot of little activities for him to play with and him to look at and the lights and the music so he has been enjoying that so i think that this is something that will last us a while because he hasn't even gotten the full effect of it bouncing yet so um those are basically all of his favorite um toys and kind of products and things like that um that he has been loving lately some of the products that i have been loving lately as a mama i really love the cetaphil baby wash and shampoo um he has eczema and so um he gets really dry skin so we love the cetaphil um baby wash and shampoo i mean it is so gentle on him we've been using it since like day one and i mean it has been working great um it helps to keep his dry skin at bay and not get out of hand um another thing that i really really love is just some pure shea butter like y'all it's amazing um it helps to moisturize the skin i usually put it on right after his bath um or you can 
you can put it on in the mornings um it's very thick so i would try and like warm it up some and then try and lather him down with it and then um i also put it on a scalp to help keep his scalp moisturized um and then another product that i have been loving um are the nano baby bottles um i absolutely love those things um we've been using those since day one he still breastfeeds but when he's not breastfeeding um he does use nano baby bottles i love them they're easy to clean you don't have all those freaking parts to them them he loves them they're easy for him to grasp um they're easy to stack in the refrigerator and they don't take up a whole bunch of space i just I love them. Um, I cannot rave about them more. I just bought the transitional ones for um, the next stage. So, y'all, I'm riding with that no baby till the wheels fall off. Okay. And then um, another thing that I have really, really, really been loving are um, the Tommy Tippy silicone bibs. Y'all, those are the truth. Like, um, they're easy to clean. You just take them. You can wipe them off with um, a little wash rag, you know, from the dishes. You just, psh, psh, and it's done. It's clean. Um, you just put it back up there to dry, and it keeps his clothes clean. He doesn't get all messy. You don't have to do all that long process of washing or it staining all of the um, the food, staining all of the bibs and stuff. You don't have to worry about that because they're silicone. He also really likes them to chew on them, so he pulls it up sometimes to his mouth and just like chomps on it because he's teething. But um. Yeah, I love those. I, I definitely like, hands down, those are the best investment ever, period. Like, get you some silicone bibs. Get you some. And then the last thing um, that I'm going to talk about are his milestones. So, um, since he has turned six months, um, he has had a lot of milestones. Okay, so some of his current milestones are rolling over y'all he can roll over from his front to his back and back to his front he just rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls like boy will be on the move okay you put him one place you look he's gonna be all the way on the other side of the bed like how how sway um when i look at him in his crib like y'all he's just like flipping 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 and he enjoys it so whatever i mean whatever floats his boat but he's on the move now um <laughs> Another thing that he is doing is like army bear crawling where it's not quite crawling yet because he doesn't lift up his upper body, but he uses his lower body to move. Um, I'll see if I can try and get a video of him doing it and <laughs> insert like a little clip for you all, but um, he tries to crawl that way and I just think that's so funny. Um, but yeah, he definitely uses his butt and his legs to try and get around now. Um, another thing that he's been doing is talking a lot, y'all. Like, he talks so much. He get that from his daddy, but um, yeah, so he talks so much. Um, speaking of daddy, that was his first word. He said, dad, 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 dad. You know, and so I'm not mad or nothing. I did just carry him for nine months, but you know, who's counting? Anyway, um, so yeah, he did say dad, dad, and he does now like associate that with him, which I think is pretty cool that he can actually associate those words with the actual person. So, um, he's learning, which is great. Um, another thing that he can do is sit up fully by himself, like he can sit up fully unassisted without, and he doesn't roll over or tumble after a few minutes, like. If he can just sit up for as long as he wants to so now when he wants to play he sits up plays with his toys he's just becoming such a big boy and I mean I'm just like oh my gosh um and then the last thing I want to talk about is that he's teething y'all he is drooling first of all out of this world like he drools so much um it's ridiculous he we use those mom mom teethers like I said those little teether snacks um he loves the itsy ritzy mitt and the itsy ritzy little teether ring um that has a fox on it so it's a rattle and a teether it plays dual purpose he loves those and then the final thing are these like silicone they look like little popsicle things and you can put frozen breast milk in there or you can put frozen fruit he really loves those things they're soothing to the gums they're cool um so he can hold it on his own so those things are great and yeah those are his um things for his six month update he's doing well he's thriving he's learning he is growing every day you all making my arms hurt okay he is making my arms hurt but 
um overall you know he's just a blessing and i'm just so happy that we made it to six months yes so thank you all so much for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye